92.5. Brooke and Jubal in the Mornings, Second Date Update. I feel like I start a lot of second date updates off this way, but when you're going to joke with a date, it's all about timing mm-hmm. oh, and yeah. appropriateness. Mm-hmm. For example, if you're out on a date and the girl's like, oh, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather today, probably a bad time to go, well, I'm a gynecologist. I could help you out later after we eat. <laughs> Oh my God, that's so gross, and it's been or, said before. Oh no. That's the sad joke. part. I have no idea. But Kurt thinks that a bad joke might have ruined his chances at a second date with a girl named Angie. What's up, Kurt? How are you? Hey, very good, guys. How are you? God, was your joke right. as bad as the one Jubal just said? Um, Timing-wise, probably a little bit worse. Oh my oh, God! Wow. What did All you right. say? We'll get to that in just a second. First, tell us about Angie. Where'd you meet her? So we actually met on Bumble. Okay. Nice. Does that mean she chose you? She did. Yeah. Okay. I feel like guys would go in with a lot more confidence knowing that they've been picked first, right? Absolutely. That's way different than Tinder. Yeah, definitely. I mean, and that's probably contributed to uh, the poor choice of mm-hmm. joking. I don't okay. know. Oh, really? Yeah, you got too comfortable too quick. <laughs> too comfortable too quick. <laughs> Before you tell us about the joke, tell us about the start of the evening with her. How was everything? It was just kind of weird right off the bat, you know, because online we were texting each other back and forth, just a lot of joking mostly. Um, Then on like the day of the date, when I picked her up, she just kind of just didn't seem like she was in a good mood at first. Okay, so Um, you started off thinking like, ooh, maybe something else happened. She's not feeling this. Yeah, like, you know, obviously we had never been out or anything. I didn't really know her that well, so this may have just been how she acted all the time. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And so, yeah, I mean, I asked her a few times, like, if she was okay, and she just never seemed like she wanted to talk about it. Okay. Okay. So what would you guys do? We went to dinner. Okay. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Did she open up more at dinner or still kind of the same? She was still pretty much the same. Towards the end of dinner, though, was when she kind of, like, let me know what was going on. What was okay. what was going on? So, it was really sad. Like, her grandmother actually passed away, um, like, oh. you know, within oh. a week of us going out, yeah. Oh, that oh, sucks. So she was probably not getting a big settlement, so she was upset. What? No! <laughs> Jubal! Oh, my God. She obviously really liked you if she thought, like, man, I'd still want to go on this yeah. date. You Maybe know, this, this will cheer me up. Exactly. Maybe this is the silver lining that I need this week. Did she mention anything about the settlement? No, a chibble. <laughs> yeah, there was no talk of like any settlement or like a will or anything, thank God. Yeah, I would hope not. <laughs> but that's a real bummer. How did you respond when she told you that? Well, I mean, this is kind of where I think I messed up. So my grandfather had actually passed away a couple months before. And, you know, I was kind of telling her, like, I totally understand. You know, I was like, my grandfather actually passed away recently. Yeah. Um, you know, and obviously it's you know, really tough. I was like, you know, but... Maybe we could, uh, maybe we could get my grandmother, who is still alive, to hang out with your grandfather, oh, who is still alive. So yeah. you took the opportunity to try to hook up your grandparents. <laughs> what? And how did she take that? Well, she didn't really say anything uh, at first, and then you know she kind of started to like look around. So I, like, I quickly let her know, like, "Hey, I'm just joking. I'm just, oh, you know, yeah. trying to make you feel a little bit better." <laughs> and yeah, that was pretty much. Yeah. The end of the, the funness of the date. <laughs> Especially because, oh, like, jokes are supposed to be funny, and that's not even really funny. Yeah, I know. It was really bad timing on my part, and I, just, <laughs> I wasn't thinking. I was just trying to make the situation a little bit better. Yeah. yeah. But I could see, I, like, if I, you apologize, that she should understand. I don't know, Kurt. I thought it was hilarious. So. <laughs> yeah. so how did everything end then after that? Well, pretty much it ended very shortly after that joke uh whoa she was like yeah just, you know she just said she was kind of ready to go back to her house and i took her back i didn't try making any moves or That's like good. i didn't try you know obviously you know kissing her or anything i wanted to stay respectful you know because i really did like her outside of that crappy joke that i made you know she was really nice have you talked to her at all since no i haven't she hasn't called me back Okay. I I just feel like, I mean, people say awkward things in awkward moments on a date. I feel like what you said, though not funny, forgivable. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I was just, I was trying to be lighthearted about it, but it obviously was maybe a little too soon. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. Yeah, she hasn't called me back. And it's kind of like surprising, too, because, I mean, usually girls call me back. Like, I'm kind of like a part-time model. So, uh-huh. you know, even oh. if girls don't like me, they generally will you know, reach back out to hook up or you're something, hot. you know. You're attractive. You're hot, yeah. 
I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> no, like, well, at the very least, we can get her on the phone and <laughs> see if you can apologize for your joke and try to get a second date. Yeah. Well, hopefully, hopefully she's down to go back out. I mean, like I said, I really liked her and I felt like we connected. I just, you know, I made a <laughs> joke. Okay. Well, we'll play a song and then come back and get your second date update. All right. All right, guys. Okay. Hang on. 2.5. Brooke and Jubal in the Mornings, second date update. Today's second date update brings up a very important question. What is the timeline on how soon you can joke about somebody's dead grandparent? Yeah. I think we got to figure it out. I think we should do it by maybe the age that they were when they died. Like if they were 80, got to wait 80 days before you make a joke. <laughs> It's not actually a bad rule of thumb. Yeah, or maybe just don't joke around people's dead ancestors. But I also well, feel like... Well, how do you members? not, Jose? You have to at least throw a <laughs> joke or two in there. You just got to make sure the timing is right. And Kurt is oh. on the phone for a second date update right now. His timing was definitely not right. He no. went out with a girl named Angie. They went out to dinner. She was kind of a little down the whole time. And then she shared with him that she was feeling down because her grandmother had passed away recently. And then Kurt decided to make her feel better with a joke saying, hey, my grandpa passed away recently. We should totally hook our grandparents up. <laughs> now that they're single. And she didn't yeah. find it very funny. And then oh. the date ended very shortly after that. So we're about to give her a call. And Kurt, one thing we should do in this phone call is find out how old her grandma was. So we know when the appropriate time to make that joke is. Oh. Don't you think? That sounds good. No, okay. you guys, stop bringing up the dead grandma. I mean, I think that this is your chance to, like, apologize and maybe say what you should have said when she said that. You've had time to think about it. Do you know what your appropriate response would have been after she said her grandma kicked the bucket? Um, I would have just said, I'm really sorry to hear that. You know, if there's anything I could do, let me know. And then maybe change the subject. See, That's perfect. so good. Yeah. God, hindsight is twenty twenty, isn't it? It's a much better option. All right, well, I'm going to dial her phone number right now and see if we can figure out why she's not calling you back, okay? Sounds good. All right, here we go. Hello? Hi, is this Angie? Um, Yeah, who's this? Hey, what's up, Angie? How are you? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning, the radio show. Oh, I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> Not bad. It sounds like you might be familiar with the show. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've heard it before. Cool. Thank you. Nice. You ever heard a second date update before? Um, yes, I have. Okay, wonderful. Uh, then this is you might go. be excited to know that's why we're calling today. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh-oh. Yep. That wasn't a very excited. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, what's going on? <laughs> Have you been out on a lot of dates recently? Um, not a lot. Uh-huh. Okay. Have you been out on a date with a dude named Kurt? Yes, I did go out with him. Cool. Any guess on who might be calling for a second date update? <laughs> you just uh, said you it. I kind of told her. <laughs> well, I guess it's him, but that's kind of weird. Why is it's, it weird? It's weird? Yeah, I mean, I'm not interested in going out with him. Yeah, that, yeah. I mean, he got that because you haven't called him back. back. Yeah. Remember, the point of <laughs> well, the second date update is find out why. Yeah, but I guess he really didn't get it because he actually called you guys, which is weird. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. you're saying yeah. that it should be obvious why you're not yeah. calling him back. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I, think, okay. I guess it's not, though. Really? Is it the joke about your grandmother? Oh, he actually told you that? Yeah, that was um, that was really, uh, I didn't appreciate that at all, but that's not the whole reason. You yeah, had... he did tell us about that. He told us that he feels bad, actually, about making a poorly timed joke when you shared that your grandmother had just passed away. So he does feel bad about that, but it's more to it? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that, like, the worst part was that he was going on and on about the fact that he's a male model it was, like, very uncomfortable for me, and he kept, like, making all these faces, like, this is my relaxed face, and this is my Stop objective it. face, and really? oh my this is my God. evening romantic face. Who does that? Are you serious? He mentioned that it was weird you weren't calling him back because girls always call him back because he's a model. Yeah. Oh, please. So doesn't that give you an idea of, like, 
how gross he is. Oh. Wait, when did he start doing faces at the table? Like really early on in the date. Like he seemed like he was trying to impress me. You know, if there was a mirror behind me in the booth, I bet you he would have just been looking at his reflection the whole time. <laughs> Yeah, this dude is like, here's me, here's the world, and here's all my faces. And I was like, oh, come on. Wow. I wasn't Wait. in a really good mood, you know? I I mean, I just wanted to go out and have some fun. I'm sad about my grandma, and yeah. this guy is just, ew, he just made it worse. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't take that opportunity to show you his sad look. <laughs> you know, he may have. He showed me a lot of looks, the whole gamut. What did you say oh, to him? I mean, I didn't know what to say because, I, I mean, he just thought that he was so entertaining. And, I, I mean, I sort of tried to get the point across that I wasn't really into seeing all these faces. And I just kind of wanted some nice company and, you know, but I guess he didn't get it. Okay. So oh. long before the dead grandma joke, you were over this guy. Yes. I mean, that sure didn't help matters, but I don't, it's not the kind of guy that I want to hang out with. No. Yeah. Well, Angie, thank you for being honest with us. Also, I want to let you know that I haven't been fully honest with you. What do you mean? Well, I mean that Kurt is actually on the other line listening to this and wants to talk to you. Oh. Angie. Oh, my God. You're on the phone. (laughs) Great. Yes, I'm on the phone. And uh, first of all, I know you're trying to bash male modeling, but uh, it's, you know, really insensitive and... You know, I was just trying to show you, you know, kind of like my talents and hoping that you would show me your talents, but you don't really have any. (gasps) Oh, damn. Whoa! Somebody got their feelings hurt, Kurt! I mean, maybe I don't care that much about your talents right now. I have other things going on in my life. I just wanted someone normal to hang out with, but that's not you. Oh, I cannot believe you didn't come in with an apology, Kurt. Like, oh my God, I was nervous. I'm sorry. See how he is? I mean... Why am I going to apologize if, like, everybody in the station, including yourself, is, like, making fun of what I do? Like, that doesn't make any sense. I'm not going to apologize for anything. Yeah. Okay, well, I know that you think your modeling is really great, so why do you care what anyone thinks of it? And I, like I said, I have other things going on right now, so I'm not so interested in your bragging about your talents. I was just trying to have a good time. Kurt, I don't think you get it. Like, nobody's making fun of your career. They're making fun of you being so self absorbed well i mean whatever like however you want to spin it you know that's like on you but i was just trying to be outgoing trying to show like a little bit more of my personality on the date but it's being spun around like i'm just sitting here with like some self-indulged guy on a date and that's not who i am that's not what i do and that's what it sounds like i mean how many faces did you show her for your information, I actually have 15 to 20 different faces that have all made me over $1,000. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, that's, that's good. I wish I could get paid for my face, Kurt. Oh my I, think a, I do think that's a talent, but yeah, maybe but... just not on a date. Maybe save that for when you're actually working and not across the table from someone at dinner. Yeah, it's like Jubal going out on a date and doing all his phone tap voices. <laughs> like, no one wants that. They don't? Whoa. They don't. They don't. Oh. I'm sorry. The future. I think a lot of people give male models a bad rap, and just so you guys know, I mean, I know most of you are in the radio or in, you know, whatever Angie does. <laughs> male modeling is very hard, and we grind every day to make our careers possible, okay? okay? And you have to work on your diet. You have to work on your wardrobe. You have to keep up with what's going on, and obviously, you need to practice your faces. I mean, as funny as this sounds, it's a very important part of what I do. Makes sense. One very, very important thing that you just said, though, that I think probably makes it seem like you're a little self-involved is you said, I don't even know what Angie does. And you went on a date with her and Mm -hmm. you didn't take the time to figure out what her career is. Yeah, Kurt, you never even asked me what I do. Well, you're too sad looking to really even (laughs) talk to you. Like, I was scared to ask you. So it's her fault that you didn't take any interest in her? Yeah, she was she was just way too sad and way, just way too down. I just didn't know what to say to her. I just didn't feel like I could ask her anything. Oh, my God. So you, you thought I could cheer up with some of your faces. I get it, dude. <laughs> well, Angie, <laughs> would you like to go out with Kurt on a second date? We will pay for it. Absolutely not. Yeah. Oh, I, I kinda... thought you were going to pause after absolutely. Damn. And if you guys are wondering, I'm making this type of face disgusted no way never again 
<laughs> Dude, you nailed it. I can't Thanks see it. Thanks anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, stop making fun of my faces. They're real, and they very much get me paid. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Oh, my God. He's yeah, miserable. Keep grinding, Kurt. Angie, thank you for talking to us. And, you know. You're welcome. <laughs> Hopefully you can find a lady out there, Kurt, that will appreciate you for all your different looks. That's great. Thank you so much. I appreciate your feedback. (laughs) (laughs) Broken Jubal in the morning. Text in at 78592 says, I'm a model, and that dude gives us all a bad name. (laughs) That guy and maybe a few others. But anyway, (laughs) if you missed today's second date update, this dude, Kurt, went out with a girl named Angie. And he noticed immediately that she was in kind of a weird mood. And he found out it was because her grandma had just passed away. Mm -hmm. So Kurt tried to lighten the mood by making a joke, saying that his grandpa died recently too, so maybe they should hook up his grandma and grandpa together. And (laughs) the joke didn't land well, but we got her on the phone and found out it was partly the reason. But the biggest reason was because he's a male model. And I guess throughout the date, he kept showing her all of his different poses. (laughs) His different faces that he could do. His sad face, his happy face, his, yeah. what I don't know, serious face. Mm-hmm. And she thought it was weird. Today was a day that I was really sad that we're just radio because I really wanted to see him visually. I know. I well, feel like he was giving amazing. us all sorts of angry faces at the end of that call. Well, in his oh, defense, I bet during... I'm also friends. And Jubal, you know who I'm talking about. One of my best friends is a male model. But yeah. at least my friend knows that it looks bad. He doesn't practice or do anything in front of people at all because he knows it's conceited. It's a very or weird thing. He's such a good male model, you don't even know when he's putting on a yeah. face. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> but anyway... Kurt did get super offended with us yeah. and offended that people weren't taking his job seriously, even though it is kind of weird no matter what your job is to yeah. be doing it in the middle of your date. If you're a CPA, don't do an Excel spreadsheet and show yeah. me how cool you right. are. Yeah, an electrician it. isn't going to sit at the table and then rewire the outlet that yeah. right, is right next yeah. to you. It's Let just no, you. That would be weird. You wouldn't get another call back, probably. <laughs> so Kate decided she didn't want to go out with Kurt again, and Kurt's fine with that. He'll find somebody else to appreciate all of his many faces. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Remember, if you want to do a second date update, just email the show, and we will call the person who didn't call you back. Giving away another trip to Vegas in just about five minutes, and don't forget, it is Friday, so Young Jeffrey's Song of the Week is Yay! coming up at 8.10. It's Brooke and Jubal in the morning. 60 seconds away from your shot caller question of the day. It's Brooke and Jubal in the morning, but before we get into that, you know, we're living in the age of innovation with new yeah. scientific breakthroughs every day. Yeah. We have cars that drive themselves, mm-hmm. human organs that are grown in test tubes Crazy. in my backyard. What? what? Biodegradable stripper poles. <laughs> huh? The list goes on and on. <laughs> what a world. But there's one major breakthrough that we've all been waiting for, and scientists have finally done it. Doctors at John Hopkins Hospital have just announced that last month they successfully completed the world's first ever total genitalia transplant. Oh my god. Whoa. Yep. That means they gave some lucky dude a brand new downstairs mix up, and apparently everything works. Oh my god. Really? So many men yep. listening are like, wait, hold up. I could do an upgrade? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I need a reduction. Uh, I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, right. That's cute. I mean, just like, I'm sure your thing is. <laughs> The organ came from a donor who passed away, and it took 14 hours to perform that transplant. Of course, the surgery is mainly going to be used to help people who have suffered injuries or damage to their kibbles oh in maybe God. their bits, or maybe their kibbles I'm, in their bits. I'm dying, though. Is it going to be like one of those transplant stories where the widow meets the person who gets the organ and then places I their hand? So. <laughs> well, or they hook up in a bar, and she's like, you remind me of my ex-husband. Oh, yeah. no. Then, you know it's a beautiful what? love story. I think they actually have one like that with somebody's eyes. Like somebody got a tr- eyes transplanted and then really? they fell in love. I don't know. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we do know eventually, though, this will lead to cosmetic junk transplants. Oh, yeah. You just have to find a willing donor. I, also, hey, I this- love this. Like, you know, we, we're not going to pay for women's birth control, but we can give you guys a better <laughs> junk. Hey, awesome. Does this yep. mean that if I click organ donor on my license, if I go, they can take that Oh, organ honey, now? nobody wants that one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just, yeah. No, it does. Yeah. <laughs> they'd take yeah. your liver, I'm sure, before they'd take that. I will say, whoever yeah. died and got to be the first one to donate uh, that junk is it's got to be pretty proud. They're like, right? Well, like, it's cool. We have the perfect yeah. recipient for yeah, this guy. Yeah, that is the perfect, that's the perfect member. And it gets to live on forever. Yeah. You know? Oh, like, that part of you will be in this world after your death, and that's amazing. <laughs> All right, let's get into the shot caller question of the day. Young Jeffrey has come to the studio with a hat full of names. We'll draw a name out of the hat to see who will put on the shock collar this morning. 
They're asked a trivia question. If they get it right, they don't get shocked. Jeff does because he asked a terrible question. If they get it wrong, they get shocked to the song that you want us to sing. Text in at 78592. What song do you want to hear from the person who gets shocked today? Jose is drawing a name out of that because he had the shock caller last. And who'd you get? I got Brooke Fox. Oh, Woo. lovely. Right. <laughs> Brooke's got the shock caller while she's putting that on. Jeff, please read Brooke the shock caller question of the day. One of the biggest trends in Hollywood over the last few years is to do remakes of popular movies from the 1980s. Did you know that out of the 15 highest grossing movies from the 1980s, only four have never had a remake, sequel, or prequel? They're Tootsie, starring Dustin Hoffman, Rain Man, starring Tom Cruise and Dustin Hoffman, and E.T., not starring Dustin Hoffman. What is the other famous movie that has not been remade or had a sequel from the 80s from the 80s wait okay i already have an idea but i don't i'm not positive that it hasn't been sequeled did top gun have a sequel yes i think so yeah yeah they did it wasn't good oh did pretty pretty woman had a sequel too didn't they did it pretty woman starring richard gear anybody anybody see that jeffrey can i ask have you seen i don't think it had a sequel too pretty woman is the 90s it's not. Oh. Yeah, it is. I think it was. Really? Yeah, I think yeah, it was, it was the 90s. 90s. Oh. I shouldn't help you, but it's the 90s, and I, I don't like the fact that you don't know your pretty woman facts. It's really upsetting. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Jeff's yeah. going to think about that all day today now. It really hurt me. Oh, oh, I know. Do you really oh, wait, know? Wait, is this 90s you... too? Is Goonies 90s? Or is Goonies, Goonies 80s? Is... Ooh, they might have been 80s, like I believe. 80s. Goonies is a huge blockbuster. I mean, like if you well, think. No, it wasn't at the time. It's now. It's like a cult oh. classic. What about an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie from the ni- from the 80s that would be like a huge blockbuster? Like Terminator obviously had them. A ton, yeah. Conan um, the Barbarian had had multiple, I think. What's the one where he's like the kindergarten teacher? Kindergarten. Kindergarten cop. Kindergarten cop. <laughs> That's obviously a really good name for that movie. (laughs) Read the question one more time, Jeff. (laughs) Did you know that out of the 15 highest grossing movies from the 1980s, only four have never had a remake, sequel, or prequel? They're Tootsie, Rain Man, E.T., and name the other one. (gasps) Oh, my God. It just came to me. Okay, hold on. on. Oh, no. For real. I got it. I've got it this time. Okay. So at first, I was like, Back to the Future. This is what's going on in my head. I'm like, no, Back to the Future has had sequels. Of course. Breakfast Club. Oh, oh, oh sixteen yeah. candles. Oh my God! It's, it's gotta just... be a. Ro- it's gotta be Molly Ringwald, oh. right? Dude. Well, she was in everything then, so yeah. And Breakfast Club. I mean, I don't know. Was that a box office hit? Because I... that was a. Would that be bigger than sixteen candles? Because they didn't have seventeen candles. Okay, calm there down. was no eighteen candles. <laughs> Out of all the eight things that you promised, you know, are number one. <laughs> I think that mm-hmm. Breakfast Club does make the most sense because it lines up. It was in the 80s. It had major actors that all wanted to do bigger and better things. And no one has ever wanted to touch the image of it. And I, I know it did good in the box offices, too. That makes the most sense out of all of your okay. <laughs> realizations. You ready for my answer? I'm ready for it. Breakfast Club. <laughs> Out of the 15 highest grossing movies from the 1980s, only four of them have not had a remake, sequel, or prequel. They are E.T., Tootsie, Rain Man, and the fourth one grossed $176 million at the box office and is one of the all-time classic 1980s films yeah. starring Tom Cruise, no. Top Gun. What? Oh, I thought that oh. was I thought that, you guys, I said that. That was the first thing I said, and you all talked to me What's the sequel, Bottom Gun? No, I thought that was I, I thought, know, I thought there was. Was. Top Gun 2 has not, not come out yet. It, it's still in. They're still trying yeah. to figure out I how to make that. I thought it was like, just like Iceman and like no, and Tom Cruise wasn't in it. Nope. Are you yeah. sure? I'm 100% sure I looked it up. They say maybe one might come out in 2019, but it still doesn't have a script oh, or anything. So Yeah, you know what? I just Googled it and it says they revealed the title, Top Gun Maverick, but the movie hasn't been made yet. Damn it! Oh, Dang it! Okay. Damn it! All right. that early hype yeah. has got me well, confused in the head. Turn that shock collar up. <laughs> yeah, you got it wrong. Give me a and song. And somebody wanted to hear like, "Crank That" I'm... by Soldier Boy, so you can what? sing that before oh you get shot. Crank that! Oh get it, God. bro. Okay. <clears throat> Is it on? Soldier Boy, I've been this hoe. Watch me crank it. Watch me roll. Watch me crank that Soldier Boy, the Superman, Superman that hoe. hoe. Now watch me, you, you crank that Soldier Boy. Now you, you. crank that Soldier Boy. Now you. <laughs> Ow! Right. Ow! 
<laughs> that was weird. No. <laughs> the song and the you, shot. All of it. All of it, I think. Just loud and weird. Oh, um, I'm loud today. I'm sorry. All right. Your phone tap's coming up in just a few minutes. It's Brooke and Jewel in the morning. Hi, everybody. Pour gasoline over that trucker, then struck a match, and now I'm out on the run. Oh my god! But the evidence is gone. <laughs> they think I was the one. Yeah, you were. But you were. my alibi is strong. Uh, Hi, everyone. <laughs> it's me, Sage Willowbrook. How we know? Like, literally. And where was I the night in question? Uh huh. Well, it turns out I was burning a trucker, but what? not the trucker you're thinking of. Oh. It was a different trucker. Oh, okay. So that wasn't you that time. It was you so the other time. Think about it. I couldn't have done what you said I did because I was doing what you said I did to somebody else. Okay. I really <laughs> feel like someone should lock it's you up. Perfect crime. So try again, coppers. <laughs> I bet they won't catch me before the loser line. Oh, and of course, do. the loser line is coming up right after this. <laughs> it's Brooke and Jubal in the morning. Win! Brooks! Fox! All right, Brooke, you're going for five wins in a row today. Okay, I'll take that. If you can beat Julie from Bremerton. What's up, Julie? What's up? Mm, I doing? already don't like her. What? What? Yeah. Just the way you said what's up, it was really pretentious. Uh, that's because I'm nervous. Like, we owe you something, Julie. We don't owe you anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, she just says no. We're sending Brooke out of the room. Julie, you know how the game is played. you got 30 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. If you don't know one, just say pass, and you have to beat Brooke outright to win, okay? Okay. All right. Are you ready? Uh, Not really, but okay. <laughs> but okay. I have to be. Okay. Good right. I don't think you sound pretentious at all. You sound pretty down to earth to me. Yeah, just, just for the record. <laughs> just for the record, yeah. You sound all right. Thanks. You're okay in my book, Julie. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, here we go. Your time starts now. The first lady, Melania Trump, has a birthday today. How old is she? Uh, 55. Largest mountain range in North America is the Rocky Mountains. What second? Oh, pass. What grocery store uses a slogan, what's on your list? Uh, Fred Meyer. Name the company that makes vehicles such as Chevrolet, Buick, and Cadillac. Uh, Pat. What is the capital of Montana? Oh. I missed that last one with the buzz. What'd you say? I said, oh, crap. I don't know. Oh. Well, you know, it is Montana. Their, their capital could be called Oh Crap Montana. It wouldn't surprise me. All right. We'll bring Brooke back into the studio. So what do you do for a living? I'm a stay-at-home parent, and I had text in because today is my daughter's birthday. So I was just wondering <gasps> to get a shout-out for her. I just walked um, into a birthday shout-out. Yeah, but no, we don't do birthday shout-outs. But anyway, let's, Brooke's back in studio, headphones on. We don't do them, though. Brooke's got her headphones on. Are you ready to go? Whose birthday? It's her uh, all right, let's go. Your time starts now. <laughs> the first lady, Melania Trump, has a birthday today. How old is she? Oh, gosh. 42. Largest mountain range in North America is the Rocky Mountains. What second? Uh, Appalachians. What grocery store uses the slogan, what's on your list? Safeway. Name the company that makes vehicles such as Chevrolet, Buick, and Cadillac. GMC. What is the capital of Montana? Uh, Helena. Do you age faster or slower while orbiting space? Ooh, slower. Gwen Stefani is the lead singer of what band? No doubt. The Empire State Building is the tallest building in New York. True or false? False. Damn. A lot of questions in wow. on Brooke's side. Not that many on Julie's side. Oh. Let's just send it on <laughs> no. over to the scoreboard, though, and see how you guys did with Jose. Oh, you can say wiener? Guys, we can say wiener. <laughs> Bolaños. Julie, you got one correct today. Yeah. I kind of figured that. Oh. Yeah, it was rough. Brooke? <laughs> yeah. Got a bunch of extra questions in and a bunch of them right. You got six correct. Oh, that yeah. feels so good. Wow, Julie. Oh, Friday. Right. Especially Tough when you're day for you. birthday. <laughs> you come on, Brooke calls you pretentious right away. Then yeah. I won't yeah. give you a birthday shout out, and then you get stomped six to one. Not yeah, fun. Just, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Julie's not gonna listen anymore. I don't yeah. think. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, no, Julie. No, I, I will. I will. Okay. We listen every day. Oh, All right. All right. Nice. Let's go over the answers real quick. The first lady, Melania Trump, is 48 today. The largest mountain range in North America is the Rocky Mountains. Second is the Appalachian Mountains. 
The grocery store that uses the slogan, what's on your list, is Fred Meyer. Mm. The company that makes vehicles like Chevrolet, Buick, and Cadillac is General Motors. The capital of Montana is Helena. Do you age faster or slower while orbiting space? Slower. Gwen Stefani is the lead singer of No Doubt. And the Empire State Building is the tallest building in New York. True or false? That is false. I do have it's to interrupt. The third tallest. I have to interrupt what? really quickly. We have a recount. Brooke only got five correct because she said GMC instead of General Motors. It's but the same she, thing. Oh, okay. But we're going to get texts in and people like, well, she didn't get that right. So I just wanted to say there was How a is recount. It, not the same? it was not the same. GMC is a brand of car. GMC is a brand of car. It's not General Motors. Yeah. It's not General, General Motors. Motors. But that's what the GMC. Okay, whatever. Get away right. from me. <laughs> you still would have won yes. handily without you it. So still anyway. Won anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Julie. Now. Yeah. I. You know I'm pretentious when it comes to a trivia game. <laughs> Julie. Just for playing, you got a $130 gift card to the Tuckwilla Family Fun Center's After Dark Party, so you can have a night out without the kids. Party takes place on Friday, April 27th. All right. Oh my gosh, and, that's nice. Thank you. Also, for a consolation prize, you can give a birthday shout out. You don't oh. do it much, but I feel like you had such a hard time with this game today. <laughs> so nice Go for it. Yeah, I did. Uh, it's uh, my daughter Hannah's eighth birthday today. Okay. Hey. Tell cool. her shout happy birthday. Done. Yep. I will. We'll Thank you so much. No, no, I meant as part of your shout out, but it's okay. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you didn't do the shout out very well, but no. that's fine. That was it. That's the only shout you get. We'll play Wimbrook's Bucks, same time tomorrow. <laughs>